Stick around after our predictions. We have a special treat for you guys. A few weeks back, the man herself, Becky Lynch, joined the show to talk a little bit about her huge main event that was that triple threat TLC match and also her movie, Marine 6. So after our predictions of WWE NXT TakeOver Phoenix and the 2019 Royal Rumble pay-per-view card, stick around for our interview with WWE superstar, the man herself, Becky Lynch. Enjoy our shows? Follow the Mercado Airways crew all over social media. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airways. On Instagram, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 2121. Mike is at Mike Mercado 2333. And our true crime show is at Murder Mysteries and more. And on Twitter, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 21 Alex. And Mike is at M Mercado 2333. You can follow the network at Mercado Airways. Follow our pop culture show on Twitter at Good Brothers Pod. Get us on the go by downloading our programs anywhere you get your favorite podcast, like iTunes, SoundCloud, Podbean, Stitcher, and other popular sites. Just search us at Mercado Airwaves. While you're at it, please like, rate, review, and share us with your friends. Visit us on YouTube.com slash Mike Mercado 2333. Click the subscribe and like button to get notified every time a new episode or interview is posted. Support Mercado Airwaves by visiting Patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves, the home of our interviews with athletes and celebrities, which you can get ad-free and early before it's released to the public. Come play video games with us on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. Mercado Airwaves is powered by Munch Art Design. Like them on Facebook at Munch Art Design. Voiceover work on Mercado Airwaves is performed by Josh Fox. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day that the author I get to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash MikeMercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, MikeMercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. What is going on, guys? Welcome into this very special Sports from the Couch and the Good Brothers crossover as we give our predictions for NXT TakeOver Phoenix and the WWE 2019 Royal Rumble cards. It is a big because the WWE is officially on the road to WrestleMania. Before we get to our predictions, here's a quick message. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day that the author I get to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else. And how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash MikeMercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, MikeMercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. Enjoy our shows? Follow the Mercado Airwaves crew all over social media. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. On Instagram, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 2121. Mike is at Mike Mercado 2333. And our true crime show is at Murder Mysteries and more. And on Twitter, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 21 Alex. And Mike is at M Mercado 2333. You can follow the network at Mercado Airwaves. Follow our pop culture show on Twitter at Good Brothers Pod. Get us on the go by downloading our programs anywhere you get your favorite podcast, like iTunes, SoundCloud, Podbean, Stitcher, and other popular sites. Just search us at Mercado Airwaves. 
While you're at it, please like, rate, review, and share us with your friends. Visit us on YouTube.com slash Mike Mercado 2333. Click the subscribe and like button to get notified every time a new episode or interview is posted. Support Mercado Airways by visiting Patreon.com slash Mercado Airways, the home of our interviews with athletes and celebrities, which you can get ad-free and early before it's released to the public. Come play video games with us on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Mercado Airways Network. Mercado Airwaves is powered by Munch Art Design. Like them on Facebook at Munch Art Design. Voiceover work on Mercado Airwaves is performed by Josh Fox. All righty, guys. I am here solo today. The good brother is busy on assignment. So I will be giving you my predictions, and we will give Alex's predictions on the post itself, wherever you listen to our predictions. And uh, we're going to start off with NXT TakeOver Phoenix. It is Matt Riddle versus Cassius Ono. I'm going to go with Matt Riddle. We're going to get a competitive match here, but this should be a spotlight for Matt Riddle. And in one year's time, he should be main eventing for the NXT Championship unless he's uh, being streamlined to the main roster. In the NXT North American Championship match, we have Ricochet versus Johnny Gargano. I'm going to go Johnny Gargano with this one. I'm not too sure if he's going to be called up anytime soon, at least in the foreseeable future until post-WrestleMania. But uh, I think Johnny Gargano as a heel, having Ricochet chase is a good uh, good way to get to WrestleMania weekend. In the NXT Tag Team Championship match, we have the Undisputed Era defending their titles against War Raiders. I'm going to, actually, I've been going with Undisputed Era in my gut all week, but I'm going to change my mind and I'm going to go with the... Oh, here's the thing. I mean, I guess this one is, do I think Undisputed Era is going to be called up? There's The roster's really tight and filled right now. You know what? I'm going to go with War Raiders in this one. I, I'm going to stick with it. I'll go War Raiders winning the NXT Tag Team Championship match and the titles. In the NXT Women's Championship, it is Shayna Baszler versus Bianca Belair. I'm going to go Bianca Belair. I wouldn't be surprised if Shayna Baszler wins this match, but uh, I think Bianca is definitely going to be the bearer of that division as it moves forward. Shayna going to be called up, is ready for the main roster right now, but depending on what happens with Ronda, be interesting to see if they create a stable or maybe if she goes on the other show. So we'll see, but I'll go Bianca Belair becoming a new NXT Women's Champion. And in the main event for the NXT Championship, it is Tommaso Ciampa defending his NXT NXT Championship against Aleister Black. Tommaso Ciampa is a great champion to be in uh, a holdover, but at least in this storyline, because if uh, Johnny Gargano wins, possibly having Ricochet, Johnny Gargano, Aleister Black, and Tommaso Ciampa in the main event of NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. So, you know what? I think I'm going to go Tommaso Ciampa in this one. And I think you're going to leave NXT TakeOver Ciampa Gargano as your North American champion and your... NXT champion, and it's going to lead to a fatal four-way in WrestleMania's card of uh, NXT Brooklyn. So uh, I think uh, I think I've kind of marked it down. I think that's official, guys. I have Matt Riddle winning, Johnny Gargano winning the NXT North American Championship. I have the War Raiders winning the NXT Tag Team Champions. I have Bianca Belair winning the NXT Women's Champion, and Tommaso Ciampa defending the NXT Championship. Enjoy our shows? Follow the Mercado Airways crew all over social media. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airways. On Instagram, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 2121. Mike is at Mike Mercado 2333. And our true crime show is at Murder Mysteries and more. And on Twitter, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 21 Alex. And Mike is at M Mercado 2333. You can follow the network at Mercado Airways. Follow our pop culture show on Twitter at Good Brothers Pod. Get us on the go by downloading our programs anywhere you get your favorite podcast, like iTunes, SoundCloud, Podbean, Stitcher, and other popular sites. Just search us at Mercado Airwaves. While you're at it, please like, rate, review, and share us with your friends. Visit us on YouTube.com slash Mike Mercado 2333. Click the subscribe and like button to get notified every time a new episode or interview is posted. Support Mercado Airwaves by visiting Patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves, the home of our interviews with athletes and celebrities, which you can get ad-free and early before it's released to the public. Come play video games with us on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. Mercado Airwaves is powered by Munch Art Design. Like them on Facebook at Munch Art Design. Voiceover work on Mercado Airwaves is performed by Josh Fox. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day that the operator, the weapon, uh, that's my skill. 
to award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? You, I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. Moving on to Sunday, guys. It is the Royal Rumble. We are on the road to WrestleMania. And why don't we start with the kickoff show? It is Buddy Murphy versus Kalisto versus Akira Tozawa versus Hideo Tommy for the Cruiserweight Championship kicking off the Royal Rumble kickoff show. I, I'm going to go Buddy Murphy. He's a good champion. I don't think it's time yet to take the title off of him. I'm not too sure who you would give it to at this point. Uh, there's nobody here who it benefits. I mean, it benefits all the guys, but I just I think why get rid of why take it off of Buddy Murphy? In the United States Championship match, it is Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura continuing off the kickoff show. Shinsuke Nakamura literally winning the Royal Rumble last year, and now he's in the kickoff show. But uh, I think you give it to Rusev. He's the one with the momentum, and I don't think they really care about Shinsuke. They're showing that. But moving on to the main car of the 2019 Royal Rumble, we will start off with the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championship. It is the bar versus The Miz and Shane McMahon. I'm going to go Miz and Shane McMahon winning the Tag Team Championship because eventually it's going to lead to The Miz turning on Shane McMahon into a WrestleMania match and The Bar can win the titles on and off whenever they want. In the SmackDown Women's Championship match, it is Asuka versus Becky Lynch. Going back and forth in this because part of me thinks it'd be awesome at the end if Becky Lynch throws off Charlotte at number you know 29 or something like that. Something crazy happens. But since we know Carmella is... At number 30, I don't think you can have that that surprise entrant of, you know, Charlotte going from 1 all the way to 30 and Becky coming out at the last second or vice versa. So I'm going to go Becky Lynch wins this one so that way she's champion at least by the time we know this. And then going for the Raw Women's Championship, it is Ronda Rousey versus Sasha Banks. It all depends. I don't think they're ready to do four horsewomen versus four horsewomen. So I think Ronda Rousey is going to win this match. And I think it's a great showing for Sasha Banks and such a big matchup in the Royal Rumble against Ronda. In the WWE Championship match, it is Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles. I'm not too sure who's the baby face to face Daniel at WrestleMania. Unless it's AJ still. Maybe Randy Orton. But I'm going to go Daniel Bryan and still your champion. I just think he's he's on fire right now. And Vince McMahon loves, you know, uh, needs a heel champion like that. To, uh, to continue on when it comes to these tours. In the Universal Championship match, we have Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor. Everybody's wondering whether Finn Balor will beat a demon. I don't think he will. We haven't even got any hint of it. But if not against Brock Lesnar, then when are, would you produce you know, this character to come out? In what segment? Like, what? when When should the audience expect it? Or when, when would it deliver in the type of uh, character that it was that we saw throughout NXT? And even when it started off in SummerSlam, first Universal Champion, the character, the demon, was portrayed to be big time, big matchup, and we haven't seen it. And this is the biggest matchup you can have, right? Royal Rumble against Brock Lesnar for the championship. Storyline-wise, is huge. And I don't think we're going to see it. But I don't think even if we saw the demon or not, that he was going to win, but I thought it would be a cool showing. I still think it's going to be a great match for Finn, but Brock Lesnar is going to win this because I think it's destined for either Seth Rollins or Braun Strowman to take the title off of him at WrestleMania. And uh, we'll get to that in uh, our potential WrestleMania main event in just one second. Why don't we start off with, uh, I guess we can start off with the 30 women Royal Rumble, the second women's Royal Rumble match. I guess Charlotte's going to win this one. Because if Ronda walks out of that match against Sasha Banks, Raw's women's champion, and Becky wins the title against Asuka and then defends it leading into WrestleMania, I think Charlotte would want to unify the titles. That Since there is only one women's tag team championship, I wonder if they're just going to make the women's title for both shows. Especially since we're moving in October, we have the Fox deal with SmackDown, and then you know obviously USA re-upping with... Monday Night Raw, so I wonder maybe that's what it is. You have one champion 
and then you just decide who you put the double belts on or you create one you know gold belt kind of like how the women's tag team championships look now so i'll go charlotte flair wins the uh, women's royal rumble and we get to the men's royal rumble match will kenny omega be in it will who will be the surprise entrance i guess it comes to me down to seth rollins or drew mcintyre i think that's everybody's guess right like they've been portrayed to be kind of the favorites into this Braun Strowman obviously has to be in the conversation if he's healthy. Can he win this? And and they've pushed him a long time. Are they just going to jump off that hype train now? I'm not too sure. They did it with Ryback, right? I think I'll go Seth Rollins. It's a safe pick. It makes sense for him to go against Brock Lesnar. And I'm not just I'm not too sure who a surprise entrant would be. You know, other than Kenny Omega, CM Punk, I'm not too sure there's anybody out there right now in the independent scene that would create that kind of stir that like AJ Styles did. But it'd be interesting to see who comes out in this year's Royal Rumble, but I got Seth Rollins going ahead and uh, winning this year's 2019 Royal Rumble match. So going back to it, to the picks, my official picks for the 2019 WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-view. In the kickoff show, I have Buddy Murphy retaining the Cruiserweight Championship and Rusev retaining the United States Championship. In the main card, I have The Miz and Shane winning the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. I have Becky Lynch winning the SmackDown Women's Championship. I have Ronda Rousey defending her Raw Women's Championship. I have Daniel Bryan retaining his WWE Championship. And I have Brock Lesnar retaining his Universal Championship. Leading to Seth Rollins winning the Men's Royal Rumble. And Charlotte Flair winning the Women's Royal Rumble match. Let us know your prediction. Who wins the Men and Women's Royal Rumble match? Who comes out WWE and Universal Champion? Where are the Raw Tag Team Championships? Where's the Intercontinental Championship? Whereas there there is some some gaps on this show, and it is a little upsetting that they could book such an amazing card and at the same time forget so much. But it's the WWE, and at the very least, you know my opinion. I'm gonna enjoy what they give us, and we'll see what the fallout is leading into the road to WrestleMania. Enjoy our shows. Follow the Mercado Airways crew all over social media. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airways. On Instagram, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 2121. Mike is at Mike Mercado 2333. And our true crime show is at Murder Mysteries and more. And on Twitter, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 21 Alex. And Mike is at M Mercado 2333. You can follow the network at Mercado Airways. Follow our pop culture show on Twitter at Good Brothers Pod. Get us on the go by downloading our programs anywhere you get your favorite podcast, like iTunes, SoundCloud, Podbean, Stitcher, and other popular sites. Just search us at Mercado Airwaves. While you're at it, please like, rate, review, and share us with your friends. Visit us on YouTube.com slash Mike Mercado 2333. Click the subscribe and like button to get notified every time a new episode or interview is posted. Support Mercado Airwaves by visiting Patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves, the home of our interviews with athletes and celebrities, which you can get ad-free and early before it's released to the public. Come play video games with us on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. Mercado Airwaves is powered by Munch Art Design. Like them on Facebook at Munch Art Design. Voiceover work on Mercado Airwaves is performed by Josh Fox. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day that at the opera, I get to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. 
Becky, how's it going? Thank you for joining us here in Chicago. How are you? My pleasure. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you so much for taking some time for us, champ. We know you're super busy. You got a crazy weekend ahead of you. But first things first, congratulations on the Marine 6. That's uh, some awesome stuff. The success of it, dropping digitally, Amazon, all that crazy stuff. How are you feeling? You must be on top of the world after knowing all that hard work going into filming. That movie kind of paid off, and you're getting a good response from, from everybody who's watched it. Absolutely. Uh, Becky Lynch, the man, is just taking over the world right now. Taking over WWE. She's taking over the movies. What else? What else have we got? Social I media. Social media. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, one thing that we have here in Chicago all the time is the fan response from you know the those who pl- who are from high- Irish heritage here in the city of Chicago. It's so huge in our city. How important is it for you, whenever you're walking out there, to really represent that great fighting nation of Ireland every time your music hits, or when you're in a movie premiere, or when you're doing one of these interviews, knowing that an entire nation is rooting for you and living vicariously through you. Absolutely, it feels amazing, right? And I used to live in Chicago, so I have, and I've studied in Chicago, so I have a special place in my heart for, 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 for that great, great city. And I think when you look at the trajectory of where I've come from and where I'm going, that all started at Money in the Bank in Chicago. If it wasn't for those great people cheering me on the way that they did every time I stepped foot on that ladder. I don't know. I don't know that we would see uh, that that we would see my popularity surge as much. So I am completely indebted to the people of Chicago. Cannot wait to come back on the 26th of December in the All-State Arena in Chicago. I just love any chance I can get amazing people. And one of my favorite breakfast places in the world is there. <laughs> Awesome. That's what we love to hear because, you know, I I think I was actually there at that Money in the Bank. And the one thing that I loved hearing from the audience, especially with you, was it wasn't just men and it wasn't just adult women. It was kids. It was boys. It was was everybody. Everybody was behind that movement. And this is a city that loves its hero. This is a city that doesn't have celebrities. It has athletes. It has heroes. It has people that are blue collar. And I think you've always kind of represented that. How important has that been for you too? Not only, everybody knows you're the man, but when you see a kid, a, a girl, or a boy who doesn't think that way, that just thinks, I like this person. How important is that for you when you're going out there every single time? Uh, that means the world to me. because I And, and what I like to uh, to remind people is, is that if I can do this, and there's absolutely no reason that anybody can do this. Because I... I failed PE, I wasn't athletic, I wasn't a good-looking kid, I wasn't like, I, there was nothing special about me when I was younger, so I just like to be able to remind people that if you've got a dream, no matter what it is, no matter how far-fetched it is, no matter how silly it sounds to you or to anybody else, if you just believe in yourself a little bit, or a lot, hopefully a lot, but you just start off with a little bit, so you start believing in yourself just a little bit. Little boys, little girls, whatever it is, just practice practice believing in yourself and you'll achieve whatever it is you want to. I don't know if that sounds super cheesy, but it's true. Well, it's coming from literally the man, somebody who's taken over this world, somebody who's champion, who's on our television, who's doing everything that we all knew was possible when you, like you just said, put the hard work into it, the talents there, it's all about perseverance. And I, I kind of wonder if that has to do with that old saying of iron strengthens iron and are you one of these people where you came up throughout a time when the women are just kicking ass right now and they're trying to follow your footsteps right now? Like, is that something that motivates you and keeps you strong every single time that you have to perform and you have to do these media roles knowing that you're representing not only the vision, but there's somebody at the gym right now trying to take your spot in all a- aspects of, of media and entertainment? That, yeah, uh, that drives me to, to no way. Because when I came in, I remember saying that I wanted to main event WrestleMania. I said I wanted to make sure that that women's wrestling was the coolest thing on TV. And people said to me, you know, it's nice to have dreams, but be realistic. Well, we're in 2018. How realistic is that now? It's pretty freaking realistic because women's wrestling is the coolest thing on TV. Becky Lynch, most more specifically, <laughs> is the coolest thing on TV. And it looks like and I do dare say that Becky Lynch versus Ronda Ramsey should be the main event of WrestleMania. 
And I want to get into that. I know you've you've heard it a thousand times, and I don't know how you're feeling about it hearing, you know, radio guys and radio heads talk about it, but we'll get into that in just a second. I want to make sure everybody here also checks out the Marine 6, and don't forget December 16th. You talk about people are so excited about Ronda Rousey, but how about the fact that Charlotte Flair is going to be in the ring with Asuka, who's going to be in the ring with the man in what I'm already guessing, I'm calling it, even if it's not the last one on the, on the card, the main event of TLC that's coming up. But speaking of Ronda, speaking of Becky, speaking of the fact they're going to be in the same arena at the same time, I don't, there's a, there's a certain, uh, a little event that comes up every single year that's, uh, some people call it like a showcase of the immortals where, you know, dreams become realities and legends are made. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's a uh, WrestleMania. Uh, Becky versus Ronda as the main event sounds uh, pretty good to me, huh? Freaking sweet, doesn't it? Hmm, hmm. Pretty interesting, huh? So what? Yeah. L- tell me, Becky. Tell me. I-, I need to know because it's one of the things that we love about you. Is there's truth to every type of energy, ener- energetic statement you make. So, can we expect the best main event in WrestleMania history when it's Ronda Rousey versus the man Becky Lynch to close out this WrestleMania? Oh, absolutely. That's what I do. I go out there and I make history every single time, and I do it with Becky Lynch. I say that I'm going to do something and I freaking do it. And I said, I said, I said that at, at Evolution, I said this is going to be the best pay per view. I said this is going to be. Uh, I said I'm going to steal the show. I'm going to have match of the year, and that's what happened. I said that I was going to be champ. I said that I was going to own Charlotte Flair. I said I was going to be the best thing in all of sports entertainment, and I made it happen. So if I want to make the the main event of WrestleMania and make it be the best match in all of history, the most excited, most anticipated match in all of WWE history, then I'm going to make sure that that happens. I think we can all agree that that is what we're rooting for. That is what we're sending out to the universe. And it seems like you are making that path, you know, just seems so just so easy and fun and energetic and and it's just something that we all take and and here's something that i think a lot of people appreciate becky is there's we're seeing you grow in front of our eyes and i just had on joanna janjancic on the show last week and one thing we talked about a lot was health and i don't want to look back but moving forward as the man as the champion as one of the main faces of this company how important is it been for you to not only be representing you know mad women but also realizing you understand your body, your health, where you're at, and how far you can push it, if you could push it a little bit further, where your max is, because you have so much responsibility on your shoulders now as the man. That's the thing is that people have no idea how many layers that there are to feel back on, on Fancy Lynch, right? Already people were surprised to see this come out of me. But this is the we're just scratching the surface. We are just scratching the surface because this is just this is just the initial breakthrough from all the years of frustration pent up. We haven't even scratched the surface of what I'm gonna do. But it's an exciting time to be around. And then with that in mind, how excited are you for what 2019 brings? Like you said, the world is in your hands right now and you could do whatever you want. This idea that Becky Lynch is is possibly not only the main event of WrestleMania, but could be the main main event of WrestleMania two years from now, three years from now, from the from the Indies to NXT to now. Can you just put into words that moment when this Sunday you go out to the ring and realize this is just one of many times that you're going to be the closing act, hopefully the closing act of a thousand shows, showing why you're the guy. It's not something that I take lightly, and it's not something that I take for granted. So that's why every single time I go out there, every time I do an interview, every time I post something on Twitter, every time I I step outside my front door, I'm thinking about it. And I'm thinking how I can get better, how I can drum up more interest, how I can entertain the people, how I can get people to care about seeing this, not seeing me slap the head off whoever it is that I'm in there against. It's a constant thought in my head of how am I moving forward. Is it exciting? Like, I know you guys are so super busy, but do you do you guys get excited when you get the opportunity like you are right now where it's – you were on Ariel Hawani's show yesterday, and you're telling everybody your spotlight. And this is what I appreciate about you, Becky, is everybody's attention when it was the Ronda thing or the Charlotte thing was – on them, and, and they were expecting this is their showcase. But the truth of the matter is this, and I, I'm a fan of both MMA and sports entertainment. I'm a fan of both you ladies, but the fact remains was Ronda was stepping into your arena, and the attention was supposed to be about her, but fact remains is this was 
You were the commander in, in, in chief in this situation. You're the one that is representing all those hard years, all those trainings. Uh, every single time you took a bump, nobody saw it in front of 50 people, in front of 100,000, it doesn't matter. And I thought that got kind of lost. How big of a motivation or, or, or mental note was that of you when that moment came? Because here's the thing, is that I've never known what it's like to be chosen. I've never known what it's like to be entitled to things. I've only known what it's like to work for things and to scratch and claw for things. But these people, they're used, they're used to being handed everything on a silver platter, and they expect it. I don't expect anything. I don't expect anything except to reap the rewards of the hard work that I've done. What these people are doing, what the Charlotte Flairs and the Ronda Rouseys are doing, is they're expecting to reap the rewards of the hard work that I've done. Mm. And they're all, they're all warming themselves on the fire that I've created, and they're probably calling each other up, and they're bitching about, about me and what I've said on Twitter or what I've said in the ring, because they know that it's the truth, and they know that they can't match me. They can't match me in the ring, and they can't match me on the mic, they can't match my intellectual wit. They don't have a hope. They know that they can't match me. And as soon as people stop handing them things, then they are going to be lost because they won't be getting anything. They don't know what it's like to be the underdog. They don't know what it's like to be the one that was overlooked time and time again. They don't know what it was like to not be born superior. They've all been born tough. Charlotte talks about how she's genetically tough, right? How she's genetically superior. Rhonda talks about how her ma was trying to make her the best in the world from the time she was knee high to a grasshopper. I don't know what that was like. All I know is that I was made tough, and I have proven to the world time and time again that you can be born tough all you like, but being made tough is way more impressive and it's way more long-lasting. And that is why Becky Lynch is Chicago's adopted daughter. Make sure you guys watch TLC on WWE Network. December 16th, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, Asuka, TLC match, and the Marine 6 close quarters. Check it out everywhere. Blu-ray, DVD, digital. Go to Amazon. The last kicker, the man herself, is pretty awesome in that movie and many more to come, I'm sure. Twitter is at Becky Lynch WWE. She's the hottest thing going and, and well-deserved. Becky, we really appreciate you making some time for us. Um, Chicago loves you. And before you get out, please, the floor is yours. Whatever you want to tell to your city, it's all yours. The man talked to the, her city of Chicago. Go for it. Chicago, I can't express enough love for you, for, for every single one of you, every single t-shirt that you wear, every sign that you hold, every time that you scream the man's name, I appreciate you, I love you, I can't wait to be back, thank you. Happy holidays, Becky, good luck, um, congratulations, I can't wait to talk to you next time you're in town, uh, if not, we'll talk to you after Mania season when you absolutely burn the world down. Absolutely, thanks a million. A huge thank you to Becky Lynch, the WWE, and the fine folks in New York City for setting up our interview with the man herself, Becky Lynch. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our prediction show for WWE NXT TakeOver Phoenix and the 2019 Royal Rumble pay-per-view. We'll see you in the next episode here on Sports from the Couch and the Good Brothers on the Mercado Airwaves Network. I'm Mike Mercado. 